what's going on guys welcome to the first of many next gen console tutorials i imagine you clicked on this video today because you're ready to get streaming on your next gen playstation 5 console and you want to know how to do it and it's actually very very easy and there's really nothing that you need all you need is your playstation 5 console maybe with the exception of the PlayStation camera accessory, which goes along pretty good with this, as well as a USB microphone, which I'd actually highly recommend having a nice microphone because the microphone that you'll get on the controller or even some headsets just doesn't sound very good. So I'd recommend going with the microphone like the Blue Yeti or the Blue Snowball. Still great microphones to pick up nowadays. Oh my goodness, this thing is all tangled up. Ah! If you do own the PlayStation camera, go ahead and set this bad boy up. All you're gonna need to do is place this on your TV or monitor in front of you preferably so you get a nice straight shot angle. See how I'm setting it up right here? I just put it in the middle of my monitor here and now it has a straight on shot at my face. After that, just plug the USB end of the camera into one of the USB ports on the PlayStation. So that's how you get the camera all situated. Next, you can go to the console and then you wanna press and hold the PlayStation home button. That'll bring you to the user interface then go ahead to your settings. Then you're gonna to wanna to scroll down all the way to the bottom till you see captures and broadcast. Select that, go to broadcast, and then you'll have a couple options. The first one being the video quality. You can select your output of your stream to be up to 1080p at 60 frames per second. For the audio, you can select whether or not you want to include your voice chat so anyone that you're in a party with, they'll have their voices recorded if they're okay with it. The next tab is the camera, and this is where you'll activate your camera. See, right when I entered it, it showed my camera right away. So you can see yourself, maybe make some fine tune adjustments so that it looks you know, perfectly like you want it. And of course, if you don't wanna show your camera, you can always uncheck it, but we are gonna keep it on. And next we can go to the size of the camera, so how big it'll be on the gameplay. So it can be small, it can be medium, which is usually where I like to have it. Clipping mask, I usually just go with none, but here's an example of what the others look like. Maybe the square one was probably the best there. And then chroma key if you have like a green screen. Uh, flip horizontal, sometimes that's cool to rock with if you want your camera orientation to look a certain way. So, you know, that's up to you. Effects, I don't usually go with any of these because they just <laughs> looks weird. I don't see why you would use those for a face cam, but hey, whatever floats your boat if you want to go with that. Brightness, you can change if you're too dark. Maybe you don't have good lighting. You can adjust your brightness. And same with the contrast. The transparency option will allow you to show more or less of your camera. So if you take it all the way to the right here, you can see that my face cam is just completely gone. Take it all the way to the left, it's completely there. If your camera becomes out of focus, you can select refocus and it'll focus more on your face. And if you don't like any of your settings anymore, just reset them to the default. Next, we have overlays with display chat. You can allow your chat messages to be displayed over your gameplay while you're playing. Your stream won't see this, but you will see it so you can respond to chat messages just in case you don't have a second screen device like a laptop, a phone, tablet. You'll still be able to read your chat. Display the activity so you'll see when you get new viewers to the stream and how many people are watching your stream as well. The overlay position will allow you to select where you want that activity feed to come in. Chat to speech, you can turn that on if you want every single chat message to be read out loud. I usually don't like this being on because it can be very distracting to the gameplay while you're playing. So I just keep it off and I just read it. So those are the main broadcast settings. You can go back to your game now and we still gotta do one more thing before we go live. This time, you just wanna tap the PlayStation Home button and then go to that bottom bar and then just scroll all the way over to mic. And this will be your microphone input. Right now, I have the wireless controller microphone. That mic really sucks, so that's why I said in the beginning of the video, have a nice USB microphone like the Yeti, the Snowball. Plug that in to your PlayStation so that you have something to work with. Look, here. I have a Yeti on me. Just to prove to you guys that it does work. I just plugged it in. There it is, see? Yeti stereo microphone. Worked right away. And then I can have it muted or not, so now it's muted. I wanna keep that not muted so my stream can hear me. Then I can go down to adjust microphone level, which is kind of important to be honest. And see, I'm in a good range right now. And luckily it seems they don't have it to peak 
my audio level, so that's good. It, it, it kind of you know keeps it from blaring, but we also don't want it to be in the too low end because then no one's going to be able to hear us. So just make sure that it's in the good section and that's where it is usually by default, so you should be good to go, but just double check that just to make sure your audio levels are good. So at this point, you should be ready to go live. Now you can press the create button. You'll have your options come up. You wanna to scroll to the right and select broadcast. And this is where you'll be able to select your service and also your broadcast options. So before we get to the service, let's just double check our broadcast options. You know, we want the camera display, display the chat, display the activity, overlay position bottom right. Uh, include voice chat audio, yes we do. And the video quality, we're gonna keep that at 1080p 30, but of course you can get it up to 1080p 60. You can also change your service. So our options are YouTube and Twitch. If they're not linked, go ahead and sign into those account like you would any other time and your account will be linked just as easy. So I'm gonna go live on Twitch right now. All right, and before you even you know get, get started here, keep in mind that the camera is not set yet. So you can check where you want that face cam to go. See, I'm moving all around my screen, but I like it for Fortnite at least on that left side. So we're gonna keep it there and select it and we will be live and my face camera will be, will be right where I selected it to be. If I wanted to adjust where this PlayStation camera is, I'd have to press the PlayStation home button again once and you can see that I'm on air. So just select that option. And then within these, I get a few more settings so I can uh, unmute my microphone. Camera options so I can turn my face camera off. I can also move the camera. So in case I need to see something on that side. One of the options I'm hoping that they improve here is to have just a hide face camera. Like I still want my face camera to be shown, but I don't want it over my gameplay while I'm playing the whole time. I, I don't really need to see myself like that anyways. I have access to these three overlay options as well while I'm live streaming. And here we can pause the broadcast and then also stop the broadcast. Now, if you change your service to YouTube, in addition to setting the title, you can set a description, you can put some tags in, you can also set the privacy, whether or not you want it public, unlisted, or private. Keep in mind, in order for your activity feed and chat messages to show up on your screen while you're playing, you must have the stream set to public for YouTube. But once you have those fields set, you can go live. That's really all there is to it, guys, for streaming directly off your PlayStation 5. I do hope that they add some enhancements and future updates to make it better, but it works well for now. Nothing really will ever replace having a capture card and computer setup though. So this is something great to get you started, but it's not something I'd recommend for the long term. But that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit it with the big thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel if you're new around here for more next-gen tutorials and content. We just keeping it going here. You know how it is. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video. Peace out.